So Pete, I've got a vSAN cluster. Um, what do I need to think about in terms of how much free space I need to leave on that cluster? Are there any reservations or anything I need to think about? Right. So um, historically, what we've done with vSAN, and, and this is in versions uh, from vSAN 7 update one and prior, we use this term referred to as Slack space. This was uh, sort of what we used as our own terminology that uh, meant free space that would be used for the purposes of temporarily uh, moving data from one point over to another, uh, as well as, as absorbing some sort of a host failure. And that was generally, a, we, we had a rule of thumb, generally we would focus on maintaining 25 to 30% of free capacity for those purposes. Uh, but in newer versions of vSAN, we've, we've made some great improvements there where uh, that has been reduced significantly. And so we've, we've replaced that term of Slack space, introduced this, this idea of reservations that will allow you to define what the operations reserve is for the, all of the uh, transient operations, the moving of, of uh, the data around the, the actual cluster, and then a host rebuild reserve. This is going to account for that sort of N plus one uh, design strategy that you should be using uh, in your cluster. Okay, so it sounds like I need to go on and check those boxes and make sure I'm reserving that space then. Yeah, we don't turn them on for you by default, uh, but in, in most cases, uh, we would recommend that you enable those 